When I was very little, I wore full body pajamas to bed. I would need to ask my dad to help me unzip the pajamas whenever I had to go to the bathroom. One time when I was wearing these footy pajamas, I woke up in the middle of the night and felt something cold in the foot of my pajamas. Have you ever left a few quarters on the counter in an air conditioned room? And when you went back to pick them up from the counter, they are now somewhat cold to the touch? That is what my young mind related to the cold items in my pajamas. So I felt these small, flat, cold items in my pajamas and I went to my parents' bedside and said, Hey dad, there's money in my jammies. What? I said it again. There's money in my jammies. One way or another, I convinced my dad to help me unzip my pajamas so that we could get the money out. I sat down on the toilet and my dad reached into the foot of my pajamas and held out our prize in his palm. He said, Marlon, what is this? I said, that's a turd. Another time, I was home from college on break. At two o'clock in the morning, I had to pee really badly though, so I quietly walked out of my bedroom and I tried to quickly walk down the dark hallway. I walked confidently. The bad news is that I misjudged where I was supposed to turn to the left in the dark hallway and I walked full speed into the corner of the wall. As my face felt the force of the sharp wall corner, my body was propelled 100 miles per hour into the air as I bounced up against a different wall, and my butt hit a carbon monoxide alarm that we had installed on the wall. So sometimes things hit other things. In this instance, my butt hit a carbon monoxide alarm. In another instance, you can hit the like button on this video if you want to help me destroy the YouTube algorithm on my journey to widespread storytelling fame. So please help me out with that by liking the video. Anyway, my butt hit the carbon monoxide alarm. I fell the rest of the way down the wall and I heard the carbon monoxide alarm start going beep, beep, beep. Immediately, my dad slammed his door open and yelled at me, what are you doing? I started to explain that I slammed my face into the wall because I had to pee my dad didn't like that excuse at 2 o'clock in the morning. He said, Marlon, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. You should have gone to sleep a long time ago. I don't know why you're awake. Now you have the whole house awake. I understood the sentiment of what he was saying, but I also had to pee and my face was also bleeding from the wall impact. If I remember correctly, I think I just put a band-aid on my bloody eyebrow and then I slept on my back so I wouldn't get blood on my sheets. One other time, I was at college, and I was planning to come visit my parents at home. I thought I would be sneaky, so I told them that I would be home tomorrow, but I was actually planning to surprise them and drive home today. So I drove six hours to get to my parents' house, but the bad news was that it was now 10 o'clock p.m., and my parents were in bed. They weren't expecting me until the next day, so obviously they didn't know I was going to be there. I figured they were probably asleep, and I might be able to surprise them in the morning. I got in the house by unlocking and opening the garage door, and then, as I was walking towards my bedroom, I thought I heard the floor creaking from my parents' room. My dad was walking down the hallway with my mom slightly behind him. I think my dad was holding a stick or a belt or something. My dad said, See, I told you it was probably Marlon, to my mom. I could tell they were both somewhat annoyed at me, but relieved that it was me. I said, Surprise! I thought I would show up a day early. They said, yeah, we thought you were a burglar or something. Next time you want to surprise us, don't do it at 10 o'clock p.m. So, yeah, those are some stories of me doing dumb things when I would have been better off sleeping. Have you guys ever done anything similar? If you have any funny stories like these, I want you to tell me about them in the comments. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.